Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Ms. Anila and I am your uh, grade 3 English teacher. I would like to tell you the story of an old farmer and his sons. The name of the farmer was Jamal. He was an old farmer and he lived in a small piece of land in a small village. He worked hard from dawn to dusk and he lived with his four sons. But they the sons always quarreled with one another. The farmer worked in the field the whole day all alone. And the sons were always busy quarreling with one another. The old farmer was fed up with their quarreling. And he was always uh, telling them not to quarrel and stay united, peaceful and stay united. But they never listened to him. One day Jamal fell ill. And he was so sick that he lay on the death bed. He said that I am going to die. So you shouldn't fight among yourself to advise his sons to be at the peace and unity. He called them and said, My sons, I am going to die because I am at the death bed. Please do not fight with each other. If you fight among yourself, you will be no more. So you better be united and live in peace with each other. I may not live longer among you because I am very sick. So if you be peace with each other and stay with love and unity, you will remain forever and ever. But if you fight, you will, f you will harm not yourself but others also. And if you stay united, you will be successful in life. The sons were listening attentively to him. They were good, but they just had the habit of fighting among themselves. Uh, do you have the habit of fighting among yourselves? It's a very bad habit. It's good to be united and stay peaceful. So, uh, one day Jamal gave a bundle of sticks to them and said, If anyone of you can break this bundle of sticks, so every one of them tried to break the bundle of spit. Uh, sticks with the pressure that they could with the maximum pressure but no one was able to break the bundle of sticks because the bundle of sticks were united so now uh, uh, the uh, the farmer told now if you open the bundle of the sticks and make it single and then try to break the stick then it would be better so they opened the bundle of sticks and then they tried and they were able to break the stick. They took a single stick each and they tried and everyone was able to break the stick. Now they had broken all the sticks. So uh, Jamal said in the same way when the sticks were together you were not able to break it because they were united. But if they are broken into pieces, if they are untied, now you are able to break it. In the same way, if you remain united, you don't fight among yourself, you love each other, then no one is going to harm you and your enemies will never be able to break you. To, to, uh, re, you should remain united and no one is going to harm you. Now the sons were good enough. They understood what the father was saying, what the farmer was saying. And they learned the advice. They removed all the conflicts, all the enemies of each other and got united. And they promised the farmer that they will be united and they will love, they remain in love with each other and they won't fight with each other anymore. And now they help the farmer also in harvesting the crops now Jamal was very happy and he died a peaceful death. He was happy that now he, his sons had realized the value of peace and unity. Now hearing this story, the moral, the story is giving that if we are united and if we love each other, if we help each other in a family, as you are in a family, if you are united, and you love each other, you help each other. No one is going to harm you. No one is going to break you. No one from outside is going to break uh, your love and friendship. 
and you will be always blessed with every day everything so have you learned this lesson and try to be united and don't quarrel with your brothers and sisters is that a nice lesson to learn okay thank you very much allah fez